Looking at piles of dirt on their closed off neighborhood street and a photo of what happened overnight. Wow. Holy mackerel. It's hard to believe the driver of this SUV, swallowed by a sinkhole, managed to walk away okay. This weekend, Korea has seen its coldest temperatures of the season so far. For much of the country, it never got above freezing. Yesterday in the capital, it got down to minus 11 degrees, and with strong winds, it felt a lot colder. The county of Cheowon measured 20 degrees below zero for two days in a row. <laughs> Isn't that weird? I say, hope I got that on video. The lightning was right there, and that's what. What is that? It's the northern light. <laughs> it's the northern light. Uh, mana. A uh, volcano has erupted, sending ash 45,000 feet in the air. Wow. That's a beautiful sight. Imagine being in a plane and.
Over 17,000 households were flooded and 2,000 households had to be relocated and have not been able to return. Heavy rains over the past few days have also wiped out hundreds of hectares of winter flower crops in Duy Xuyên, Thang Bình and Nui Thành communes. <coughs> So much. Across Vancouver, 30 to 60 millimeters of rain fell in a matter of hours. High winds battered much of the surrounding coastline, disrupting ferry schedules. Parts of the lower mainland saw roads and highways submerged, while in East Vancouver, flooding burst a water pipe, sending these employees scrambling to save their business. Check this out. New video here is showing the moments a car's dash cam in Austin caught a fireball streaking across the sky. Oh, that's a this UFO. happened on Monday night. Look at it. The American Meteor Society says it received 62 reports of people seeing mm -hmm. that fireball. Water flush lava up the sky just for uh, around about 40 meters high.
video that was actually sent to us. This was seen from Sacramento to the Bay Area all the way here in Southern California. Now we know that it was indeed potentially a meteor that lit up the sky and that's that Noctilucent Are you cloud. sure? It's This chaotic scene sent people scrambling for higher ground as a huge wave hit the beach at Castaway's Cottages on the north end of Sanibel around noon. But no ground was high enough. The storm surge flooded the beach, the cottages, and even washed over the road. Look at this. The National Weather Service has confirmed three tornadoes to our north. One of those hit Mayaka City in Manatee County. A woman says she heard it touch down and she immediately went to hide with her granddaughter. The emergency services in Cuba's capital, Havana, have been evacuating the elderly, the sick and the vulnerable after heavy flooding in the coastal city. areas nearly two meters of snow has piled up which is loads more than the seasonal average blizzards are forecast to continue through the rest of the weekend this is mainly in coastal areas